Hello web developers, today we're going to be talking about jQuery and let's go real quick into what jQuery is and why are we going to use jQuery. So jQuery basically is a lightweight write less do more JavaScript library. At first it could be confusing but it takes many tasks in JavaScript easier and once you get the basic downs it's a great tool. Okay, so basically the purpose is to make it much easier to use JavaScript on our website and because it takes a lot of common tasks that require many lines of JavaScript code to accomplish but with using jQuery we can wrap them into a method and call them with a single line of code. With jQuery we have a lot of <clears throat> um, features, HTML, HTML, DOM manipulations, CSS manipulations, HTML event methods, effects and animation and we can also use it with Ajax. So why jQuery? There are a lot of JavaScript frameworks are out there but jQuery is like the most popular and the most extendable. Many of the biggest company use um, jQuery, Google, Microsoft, IBM, Netflix. Okay so how we how do we going to add jQuery to our um, web page? So there's two ways of using jQuery. We can download jQuery right from its source, jQuery.com. Go click on download. And when we arrive here, we have two current versions of or two releases of jQuery. Uh, there's J the first version and the second version. On, on this tutorial, I already downloaded the jQuery Pro compressed production 2.1.3 edition so release so we're going to be using this right now um, the other way we can use jQuery is using a content delivery network from either Google or Microsoft what this means is that big companies like for example Google have are hosting libraries the example Google has a angular JavaScript and uh, dojo jQuery, here it is. So basically on our code, we just <clears throat> copy and paste this code right over here, or this one, and that's it. This is like the simplest way to um, add jQuery to our website. Microsoft has the same thing, so we can go over here and we'll find a link similar to, to the one Google gave us and we just copy paste and where do we copy paste that so if you we go over here to our code see that in our head we put the Google link between two scripts tag and right after that so that's I'm invoking the jQuery JavaScript framework and I'll just put here a code that basically what this code is is going to find all the p tags on my HTML and every time I click those peak tag, I'm gonna hide them. So let's check it out. So I click and they hide. And basically that's what I got going on on this jQuery function. And now let's see the other example um, I was talking about, about down downloading the jQuery into our directory or into our hard drive. We can use it, use it as well. We just create a script link, a source, you know, to our jQuery. Um, I saved this both examples on my desktop so if you see here my jQuery the file I downloaded it's also on my desktop because it has to be inside um, the same directory where I'm gonna be creating my pages so I invoke the J um, jQuery over here create the same function so every time I it finds a p tag and I click on top of that p tag it's going to be, it's going to hide that p tag. So again, just using the same example. Um, this time, invoking the the the, JavaScript, the jQuery from my desktop, it'll make the same example. Okay. So let's go real quick over here into our syntax. Okay. So hopefully, what we want to see here is that. The jQuery syntax is tailor-made for selecting HTML elements and performing some actions on the elements. 
So our basic syntax is the following um, dollar sign selector and dot action and parenthesis. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that the solar, the dollar sign will is um is to define or access our jQuery. Our selector um, is used to query or find HTML HTML elements. So in the example above, we when our selector was a P tag, so we wanted to find every P tag inside our HTML. We can do this with also we can do this using um, ID and classes. We're going to be seeing that in the next couple of videos. And finally, the jQuery action, the dot action, is the actions we're going to perform on the specific element we just found. There was this was a quick, short, and introductory video to jQuery. The next video we're going to see events using jQuery. So um, stick around. Have fun.